and uh, point out uh, people asking, and maybe I'll ask our speakers to just approach the, the microphone uh, or just stand around. I mean, it's a pretty informal, informal gathering. Um, yeah, or we can sit there if that's good. Yeah, sure. As 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 you wish. So, any questions? Let me let me just ask, and I'll. I have a loud voice. I'm sure I can do this part um, without a microphone. Are there any questions? Yeah, there, there, are, there, there are, as well as the, the, the key components in, in the, the, if you could call it an ecosystem, which is a fashionable, quite nice phrase, that there, there are, there's pretty much everything in, in, in Cambridge, uh, you name it, and the support is there for the, for, the, for the students. I was teasing a little bit before when I was talking about the, the posters, because I think, I think the balance in Cambridge is, 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 really, is really very good, doesn't it? All of this support is free, so Amalia isn't paying any anything extra. It's, it's, it's all of these extra things are actually included, and there, there's no extra cost. But that, that, that sort of thing is, is um, it, it would usually be available for nothing. Yeah, I think. I mean, in terms of the, the financial models, I can just interject. I mean, I think for, for a lot of these universities, especially those with a big network, big alumni, big brand, a lot of uh, firepower in terms of pipeline, potential pipelines of science and technology, I mean, it, it, it makes a lot of sense for it to be free. It's a, it's a great investment in value creation. Yeah. And then and as far as the question, I think there's a lot of, and these are new and, and very experimental, and I think tactically, there's a lot of different approaches on how do you, uh, you know, calibrate and iterate and uh, kind of that creative destruction and all, all the various approaches that start that startups may uh, that may take before they actually coalesce with their ideas and all so I think there's a lot it's, a, it's an ever growing field and it's a, I think the final word hasn't been a lot of experimentation I guess as well. Uh, other questions? Yeah.
Any other questions? Yes. I have a question to Richard. Uh, uh, you mentioned about this third pillar uh, for universities yep. in addition to research and teaching yep. entrepreneurship, cultural development. Uh, how much of it is associated with uh, the fundraising goals of the university? How much it can be motivation to develop the future donors? Also, of, of funding for, for Cambridge entrepreneurs um, is other Cambridge entrepreneurs who've been through the system and they know it's rigorous and, and actually they feel a great deal of loyalty to Cambridge. And it is a wonderful. How many people have been to Cambridge? You, you went to Oxford, so I'm, uh, I'm not referring to you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it is in Oxford the same, it's a wonderful e e experience. So people buy into the story of, of, of Cambridge and so you're right it, it, is, a, it is a of course it's a way of, uh, of attracting new funding on, on, on one level business funding but it's also a way of you can make the distinction of attracting philanthropic funding but to here you are go away and go away and, and, and spend it um, actually on a related subject it's it's, it's quite interesting that the, the university what, what the university can Turn that the university receives because for, for in a modest <coughs> case there won't be a university return because there is some sort of share. Yeah. Um, but for other students who who pass beyond the walls of Cambridge University or any other university who who, who develop marvelous things, then the university presumably the university experience has been a large component, pretty much inevitably, of their success. Yeah, what is it, what would, the, would the university get anything back? You would hope they would get something back in the form of donations, um, uh, un unless that, that you, you, you were to propose that, um, that, that some sort of agreement was signed at the outset with all students when you matriculate and say, this isn't, this isn't official policy, by the way, I'm purely speculating. But you might say, step up and uh, commit approximately a million dollars in a form of a, of a foundation. And, and I think she may not have donated to AUA had it not been for Epic's announcement and the promise of job creation. So, I mean, that's a very local example that maybe doesn't quite translate into uh, sort of larger infrastructural or larger scale uh, sort of initiatives at places like Cambridge, but after all, we are here in, in Armenia. That's a very, I think, relevant uh, example to say, you know, from a fundraising standpoint, that you know, if you build it, they will come. 